Hey guys, welcome back to HGTV Handmade. We're the Crafty Lumberjacks. We had an idea that we thought was so simple. Put faces onto terracotta pots using clay. Well, it turned out to be a disaster. Until we found instant paper mache. It was a lifesaver. Instant paper mache comes in big batches of pulp. It kind of looks like dryer lint. So to make it, you can put it in a zip top bag and then add warm water little by little. And then you can kind Push of it massage around. it. Uh, so we're looking for a clay consistency. We don't want it too watery. We don't want it too uh, dry. Too dry. Now when you use your instant paper mache, keep it in that zip top bag because it does start to dry out pretty quickly. We found these clay tools at our local craft store, but if you don't have any, don't worry. You can use a butter knife or anything. Toothpick, yep. pencil. And we're gonna use these to create little details on our pots. I think it's best to start with the nose. That's where I always start, but I guess it's really up to you. I think it kind of shapes the face. Now there's really no rhyme or reason to how you're doing this. Just play with it. Let the instant paper mache kind of take you wherever it takes you. Yeah, and the greatest thing about this paper mache is that once it's dried, you can sand it. Sand down your nose or your eyes if you don't like the way it turned out. I think eyes are the trickiest part because you really do want to try to make them symmetrical. So I always start with kind of two pieces that are about the same size and then I go from there. Okay, now I'm gonna start my detail work. I guess I'm gonna start with the eyeballs. All right, now for the fun part, the eyebrows. Now for this, I'm just kind of picking at it. Make it look really bushy. So here's how they turned out. We love them, we think they look so awesome. So you could leave them like this, uh, but we wanted to take it a step further and we are going to add some spray paint. We're gonna use a primer first and then we found this awesome textured stone spray paint that we're gonna use also. We love the way these turned out. We picked out plants, hair, that matches each of their personalities. Yeah, let us know if you make these or if you make anything with instant paper mache. We would love to see a picture. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.